Paul, your thoughts on today's game? Just massively disappointed, I think, you know, from the start that we had, which was everything you hope for and you wish for, you know, to then concede so quick and obviously the second goal, you know, coming so quickly at half time. I think you've got to be fair and a reflection of the game. Leeds always carried a threat. They were excellent at times with the pace and the movement of the forward players. You know, but we were managing it, we were controlling it, we were doing our best to then still offer a threat going forward. So I think the day was always going to be, you know, quite an emotional day for everyone that goes off on the pitch for us to play our part could we have got a result. The disappointing thing is we never managed to do that. It's a disappointing thing as well, the, the time in which their goals obviously came as well. Yeah, listen, you know, in football, like I just say to the players, you know, when you get beat, everything's wrong and the world changes and it's a disappointment and we all look for stuff that sometimes isn't there. When you score a goal like we did, we don't naturally concede quick. Sometimes you have to give the opposition a bit of respect and Leeds carry a very heavy threat going forward. You know, while we're disappointed to lose our own record today, I think we've actually lost it to a very good side. So. And as you say, an emotional day as well, the last game under the, the ownership of the Wheeler family. Like I just said in there, you know, for new owners coming in and everyone hopes the new owners bring good days to the club, we all hope and pray for that. You know, I think for any owners now to have 23 years affiliation with a football club, to have it with the dignity, the class, you know, everything that the Whelan family have done, you know, Mr Whelan and to David, you know, I certainly wish them all very well for the future. I think the club will be a sadder place without them, but obviously we wish the new owners coming in, you know, every success for the future because, you know, as I say, it's, it's, it's going to be a time of change now and we all must embrace that change. And despite defeat today, could have been a point taken. Callum McManaman coming so close. Yeah, Cal's got that ability. I know our fans are desperate to see him on the pitch more. And do I understand that frustration? I've got no problems with that because in them last day into the pitch, he's as effective as any player we've got. So hopefully Cal will gain that more game time. It's been lovely to equalise. It's been great to draw 2 2 today. It's been a fantastic result. But as a manager, stroke staff and players, it's not to be. You know, the disappointment thing from that will sink in. And as a manager, you've got to come in and lift the players. So we'll go through that process. No Gary Robertson, Nick Powell today. How difficult is it becoming with the amount of injuries in the full difference? No, no, it's just football. Do you know, we, 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 it's football. And as a manager, it's easy to make excuses and different stuff. I don't believe in doing stuff like that. I think, you know, we have a squad of players and it always offers a different opportunity. I thought young Leo looked bright when he came on. I think that was a little taste of what's going to come for our fans. There's a bright player in there. And, you know, unfortunately, as I say, we'd have got a draw today, we'd have been happy. You know, it's easy to harp on about injuries and everything else, but, but we're not really into that. And now full week until the trip to, to Middlesbrough? Yeah, tough game, really tough game. Middlesbrough are a good side, they're an excellent team. Everyone knows the threats they carry. You know, they're very strong individually and as a team and a club. So, you know, we let this one sink in. We're disappointed. It's the first time since I've been here we've lost three games on the bounce. You know, and you've got to allow that disappointment to sink in. But you're looking at the calibre of teams you're playing as well, the margins are very small, as we found out today.